Hi, it's me again, Andy from Bristol, answering Darren's call to action. Because everyone knows you cannot have a vlog without an intro. That would be like Laurel without Hardy, Torby without Dean. Take that without Robbie Williams and Jason Orange. Oh wait, that works. And it'd be fair to get rid of Howard Donald as well, wouldn't they? Nobody would notice. And Mark Owen, what does he really bring to the party? Do you know what, I reckon that guy who plays the piano and can't dance, I think he'd be alright on his own. Anyway, welcome to the Mendip Cycling Vlog. And don't forget, like, comment and subscribe. So, good morning, welcome back to another video. We are 25k into a 200 kilometer ride today. Well, 191, 192, but some of them are doing over 200 kilometers, so we'll round it out. So usually when I'm planning routes, I'm always worried about going too far and people not wanting to sign up. Um, but we've got 10 today. So the harder it is, the more people I seem to get. But we're off to Portland Bill. It's our epic queen stage to Portland Bill. We've got a couple of official climbs on the way back. So it should be a good ride. Only the weather has let us down. British summer in August and it is raining. Um, we've also got Peter Mays just had a puncture. So he's fixing a puncture. So we'll take the time to stop because it's the first time it's actually stopped raining. But hopefully we'll stay a little bit drier. The sun's properly supposed to come out as soon as we get over the hill and start heading to the coast. You're not fixed it yet, Pete. You were, you were Peter May when you had the puncture. It's Peter September now. <laughs> 200K, Justin. How many sandwiches have you bought today? <laughs> Only one, but it's one big roll. One big roll. <laughs> <laughs> Right, we're currently heading towards Folkway, which was another video we did a few weeks ago with some stunning roads. Uh, we just lost the natter boxes at the back, just dropped off on that last climb. <laughs> but it is a bit windy today, but fingers crossed the rain is staying away. I think that soon I am. I know I like it, this thing, the way that you amaze me, but I'm scared as hell. We're currently only at 130 meters elevation, so we've still got to double that to get up over this climb. I don't know where the climb is, and we're still 17 kilometers away from the cafe. Thanks for the prep. <laughs> but at least it's not raining. It's not raining. It's not raining. Yeah. I think I might wait to the cafe to take my jacket off, but it's starting to get a bit warm now. Yeah, me too. It's all positive. Yeah. You don't want any negatives. All those that wimped out this morning because of the rain. Oh, Ian, how do you feel now? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think we found the climb. Uh, we're not at the top yet, though. As climbs go, that wasn't so bad, though, was it? No, it's all good. Still no rain. You still don't know where we are, either. I have no idea where we are. <laughs> On our way to Sir Abbas with the man with the big willy. See the man with the willy. Are we going to see the man Why with the big willy? Really? <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it before. <laughs> you got all giddy last time. It's like that. Oh. <laughs> Right, so we've arrived in the village of Poundbury, which uh, is an experimental village according to Wikipedia, which has a lot to do with Prince Charles and the architecture. So it's definitely a different looking village, but we're going to have some refreshments at the Cafe Octagon. Hey, just look. Full English breakfast. You tempted? I'm not convinced today. <laughs> Right, so that's the coffee stop done. We've now got 30k to Portland Bill. Um, then we're going to turn around and come back home again. That's a long way. <laughs> 30k to go. <laughs> um, <laughs> nice. This is not raining. Are you guys ready to do the last 130k? Take it slow There's no need to rush things, no Let's figure out a way You know it's you and me okay. Right, so that was Poundbury Not quite sure what we think of that It's uh, very different Let's put it that way But some lovely valleys 
on our way here. Uh, we should be joining up with a cycle path all the way to Weymouth, but at the minute, I don't know where we are. <laughs> all right, Nigel? Yeah, good. <laughs> Nearly there. <laughs> Thank you. Only another 120k to go. <laughs> so can you have a slope on a cycle path? How are kids supposed to get up here? Right, so we found the cycle path on the Dorchester to Weymouth. We can see the coast for Weymouth over there. But did you like that, um, that steep little climb on the cycle path? Well, I think everybody could. Yeah, you were I screaming am. your head off. <laughs> I don't... It, was, it got me up the hill. How are kids supposed to get up that climb, though? <laughs> that was ridiculous. I on know. a cycle path. It was, I thought I was in the big ring, but it wasn't quite. Oh, this... I was completely in the wrong gear. This is lovely, though. Oh, it's lovely now. Yeah, it's lovely it's now. Worth it. I don't know if this is taking us all the way to Portland Bill, but I don't even know how you get on Portland Bill. It's, is it a bridge? Is it yeah. headland? I don't know. There's a, like a lighthouse. There's a lighthouse at the end. I don't know how you get from the mainland onto the actual headland. It's sort of on its own, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Anyway, we're on our way to Portland Bill. Right, so this is Portland Bill. It's a rather stunning coastline. It's uh, kind of a headland that comes off of the south coast of England, just by Weymouth, where a lot of the Olympics were in 2012 for the sailing. But we're heading towards the lighthouse at the end, and we've got to have a bit of a lump to get there. I didn't realise there was a climb <laughs> once we got here. It isn't hard to tell what you were thinking, babe. Your thoughts are only getting louder. While you are up in space, I sit here by myself. Are you gonna spill the truth away? Well, Paul and Bill, complete it mate. There it is there in the background. So this was Del's idea back in the winter. She said, how far is it to Paul and Bill? And I plotted the route and said, it's 120 miles. And she said, let's do it. It was supposed to be a training run for Chase the Sun. Unfortunately, it's all turned out that nobody could ever do it all together on the same weekend. So we've committed to do it this weekend. There's a few people, uh, Pete and Ian and Alex, I know all wanted to come, um, but currently a couple of them are injured and Ian wimped out because of the rain. But what rain? Oh. Ian, look what you're missing. This, this cycle into Portland Bill is a bit lumpier than I expected it to be, but that has been an incredible view just coming in. It has. So absolutely stoked with that. But that is it for part one. Yeah. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. If you want to tune in to find out if we make it the 100 kilometers home back to Glastonbury, come back tomorrow. But uh, also don't forget your intros because I've only got the one for this one and it's Andy again who gets better every time he does one. So that's his third one now. So come on, it's time for somebody else to step up to the plate and give me an intro. We will see you tomorrow. <laughs>